the president, the most legislative uh, successful president in my lifetime. And you know, I don't have to go through the list, the bipartisan infrastructure law, the PACT Act, the CHIPS Act, all of that inflation. It's all good. So Mark Hamill was recently invited to say a few words at the White House in an attempt to bolster the government's steeply declining popularity. Oh my goodness, I wonder why. Oh my goodness, I think it's because he's been reduced to a sad old leftist puppet. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. It was happy until I saw your dumb face. Don't say things don't get exciting in here sometimes. Exciting is not the word I would use. Uh, I really, there's no introduction that really is needed here. I have a special guest, as you can see. Uh, Mark Hamill has decided to join us on this wonderful Friday. I'm not sure why, though. Shouldn't he be out feeding the pigeons or milking the tits of a disgusting modern star woke creature and drinking its green milk? And I am really excited <laughs> to turn it over to Mr. Hamill. Here we go. Just, okay, <laughs> how many of you had Mark Hamill will leave the press briefing on your bingo card hands? I had Mark Hamill will say something cringy when he talks at the White House, and I've won. Yeah, me either. And look, I just got to meet the president, and he gave me these aviator glasses. Oh, yeah. I love the merch. Love it all. Oh, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Creepy Joe may be a well-known pervert and may have been working on destroying the world's economy and social fabric for years, but he gave another senile old dude some free merch, so I guess he's cool. But listen, I just wanted to say I was honored to be asked to come to the White House. Uh, to meet the president, the most legislative, uh, successful president in my lifetime. See, now that's some bullshit. And, you know, I don't have to go through the list of bipartisan infrastructure law, the PACT Act, the CHIPS Act, all of that inflation, 15 million jobs. Look, it's all good. Sure, it's all good. Nothing to worry about, at least if you're a multimillionaire who still makes millions. I mean, I was really thrilled to meet the entire staff, because you know it's not just one person. It's like a, a, a composite endeavor. And all these people, my goodness, you know, I mean, I have no idea. That's true. Creepy Joe has a whole team trying to make it look like he's the least bit capable and isn't basically just a walking corpse. Uh, I had no idea just what went into what is on his plate on a daily basis. So. Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm open to questions, although no Star Wars questions, please. I have a non-Star Wars question. Why did you take part in the destruction of the Star Wars franchise? Uh, but I want to say once again how grateful I am, and it just shows you that uh, one person can be so influential and so positive in our lives. And Is he talking about Creepy Joe or himself? And uh, uh, again, thank you so much. And Peter Baker, I loved your book. Yes. Wow. Thank you, uh, Mark Hamill, for being here. What yeah. did you ask, what did you talk about with the president? Well, first of all, I only expected to be there for like five minutes. He showed us all his photographs. I can only imagine what kind of photos those must have been. And, you know, it, it was really amazing to me because, you know, I was, I was invited to the Carter White House and I came. And then I came to the Obama White House, but I never was in, invited into the Oval Office, and it was a large gathering. So this one was really extra special. All right, sir. So, uh, All right, sir. Let's get you back to the old folks' home. Uh, yes. I'm going to buy them bring up Star Wars too, sir. Well, you know, I called him Mr. President. He said, you can call me Joe. And I said, can I call you Joby Wan Kenobi? Should have asked if you can call him Joby Wan Padobi. <laughs> Uh, he liked that, but listen, uh, uh, I'm not really here to dominate. I have to turn it back <laughs> over to our wonderful press secretary, oh, Kareem Jean-Pierre. <laughs> so thank you all so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I gotta get those shades. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> No one ever claps for me when I get off the podium. I'll clap for you if you get off right now and never return. 
I'm <laughs> just saying. I know, the unexpected, expect the unexpected. Seeing a washed up libtard simp for the libtarded government is not exactly unexpected. I don't even know where to go from there, but I do have, now I feel very by myself, let's let the team come in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sam, for joining. Sure. All right, okay. Um, I do have a couple of things uh, before we get into, uh, turn, turn it into uh, some serious business and take your questions. That's not possible. You look like a weird clown that was left in the oven too long. Everything you say automatically becomes a dumb joke. All right, that's about all I can take of this crap. If you like this video, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and put your thoughts down below. You should also check out my book of unveiled secrets and groundbreaking revelations of the world, which you can find in the description. See you all in the next one.